Hi, how are you today? So I'm going to make a quick little luggage tag for my travel art bag. Um, you know, it's probably never going to get lost, but you never know. So I'm going to make a tag. Anyway, so here's one of my business cards so I can um, just judge how big I need to make this. I have a piece of canvas, natural colored canvas, that I've done some uh, stenciling on with just some different colors that I just had out. You could, you could do this from any painty fabric or printed fabric, something thick. Then I've got a piece of um, plastic here. This is kind of a thicker plastic. It's the kind that you buy um, by the yard at the dollar store. And I'm not sure what millimeter thickness this is, but it's not the thickest one and it's not the thinnest one. It's something in between. Um, and I've ta put it, I taped it to the fabric. So I want the painted side to face out and then the plat this side is going to be where the card is going to sit. Um, and I've just taped the fabric, the plastic to the fabric instead of using pins because I don't want the pins to necessarily put hole. I don't want to make more holes in the plastic than are necessary. Yeah. All right. So I need to figure out how I'm going to cut this and I have no idea how I'm going to exactly do this. If I want to, you know, I could do that. That might be interesting. Okay, so the first thing I think that I need to do is trace around my um, <laughs> God, I'm at a loss for words today. Trace around my um, business card. So I'm gonna, I think this is a pencil. I don't know where I got this from. Anyway, so I'm gonna just center it here. Hopefully this will leave some kind of mark. It doesn't have to be a heavy mark. Oh no, that like did nothing. Oh, let's get a pen. Let's use a Sharpie. Oh yeah, that, that's leaving a mark. There we go. So that's what we want. Now I need to, I was going to just sew the plastic to this and have it be, but now I'm thinking I want to wrap this around like that. Okay, so I cut a little strip of fabric off of one end of this uh, piece of canvas and I'm just going to center my plastic in here and then I'm going to sort of finger press the fabric down on all sides <clears throat> you could um, do this with an iron I guess if you really wanted to but I would be you need to be real careful you don't melt the plastic so now we have this and it, I don't know if you can see those like faint fold lines you see that yeah so now what I want to do is I want to clip off some of these corners. My scissors go. <clears throat> I could do this, of course, with my ruler, but I don't want to. <laughs> I'm the lazy crafter. Okay. There we go. And I don't care about these strings. I'm not going to actually finish the edge of this fabric. I don't mind if it ravels or, or not. Now we need to put our plastic back. And then we need to sew all these edges down. Like so. Yep. And I'm going to get three of them sewn down and then I'm going to stick my business card back in there. So let's do that. I've got my little sewing machine out that I used, um, that I use all the time for mixed media. So that'll work just fine. I'm going to set it for a straight stitch, which is, let's see, let's do C. Hold my threads before I get started. 
go back and forth at the beginning to lock your stitches in. And I'm lining up the folded edge of my fabric with the outside edge of the sewing machine's presser foot. So I'm not sewing all the way to the fabric edge. If you have to stop and move your fabric around, lift the presser foot up, uh, make sure your needle's in the down position so nothing shifts around. Okay, so like we have to turn the corner, so I want to make sure my needle's down, and then I'm going to lift the presser foot up and turn my fabric, and then keep going. do that again. And going back and forth and then I'll cut our threads. And then I'm going to take some alcohol and a little bit of a paper towel. This is just plain old rubbing alcohol. And I'm going to see if I can get some of the Sharpie off. It may not come off, but it might. I don't know. Nope, it's on there. It's all right. It's not going to show when it's done. I just thought I'd give it a try. You never know. <laughs> it's clean now. Cut these little. Okay. So now we're going to slip the business card back in. There we go. So this business card has my business phone and my business um, address on it. You don't want to put something in here necessarily with your home address. Then the entire um, staff at the airport knows you're on vacation. That's not necessarily a good thing. Okay. So now we're going to sew this other edge down. Go back and forth at the beginning and the end to lock it in. Okay. Now you're going to say, okay, that's good and all, but how are you going to hang it on your luggage? I'll show you. I'll show you. Hold your horses. I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> All right, so this I have some grow grain ribbon. This happens to be dark brown, but it could be any color. I let's see, do I have regular color? Oh, I do. I have white. Okay, that'll work. So we need a piece of this. So I'm going to take kind of probably a little more than I need, but that's okay. I've got a lot of this. It turns out. Okay. So you want to make a long enough piece that you can wrap this around your suitcase handle and then do this and pull it tight, yeah? Um, the other thing to, way you could do it is sew the folded end down and have it like this so that you tie it to your suitcase. Um, I think I want it the other way. And I think I want to do it this way. I think I'm going to leave those tail ends. I'm not sure exactly why I'm leaving them, but they I seem to like them. Okay, so now I'm going to sew through everything. I'm going to 
going to raise my needle and I'm going to go to a zigzag stitch. There we go. There you go. Custom cute luggage tag. Now this is never going to get washed. It's never going to, you know, go in the laundry. Um, so you can use any kind of paint or whatever on it. Um, you probably want to um, not use something that could seep through the fabric if it did get slightly damp and stain your card because the most important thing is that you have your card in here so the information is readable in case, God forbid, your luggage should get lost. So. Now I have a cute tag to hang on my, um, on my art bag. Isn't that cute? All right, that's it for today. I will talk to you guys all later. Um, don't forget the most important thing. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye.